Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming. This is The Walking Dead Comics, issue 36, Red and Explained, aka Comics with Killshot. Let me get you caught up really quickly on issue number 35. A lot of things went down. They made their way back to the prison. We found a dead Otis. Glenn wants to go out rummaging through all the female bodies to find an engagement ring for Maggie. When you think that everything is all good, Rick looks around and says, Where is Cesar Martinez? He is the traitor. He's heading back to Woodbury to tell the governor and all those goons exactly where the prison is. Rick is going to freak out, no doubt about it. So I'm sure there's a lot of action in store for today. So this is the last issue of volume number six, The Sorrowful Life. It has definitely been sorrowful. Looking forward to a brand new volume. So let's get this thing cranking. Thanks to all of you guys for joining, tuning in today. So we're up to March 2007. What are you doing? Watch Carl for me. I'm going after him. I'm going to stop Martinez before he gets back to Woodbury, before he can tell them where we are. If he doesn't know the area, the only way he'll know how to get back is the way we came. If I have a car, I should be able to catch up to him easy. Then what? I stop him. Why do you think I'm doing this alone? Alone? You can't thunk. Rick, you know you can't do this alone. Rick! Vroom! Huh? That guy sets his mind to do something. He pretty much does it no matter what. You follow me? That he does. That he does. Come on, Carl. Let's go find your mother. Tyrese, do you think my dad likes me? I mean, for real. I'm not sure that he does. Of course your dad likes you. He loves you. Why would you say something like that, Carl? I don't know. He just keeps leaving. He tells me he's not going to leave again, and then he does. Mom cries at night when he's not here. It keeps me awake sometimes. If he loved us, my mom and me, he wouldn't leave so much, right? That's why I worry that he doesn't like me. Listen, son. Your dad loves you very much. He's just a good man, your dad. When he leaves, he's doing it to protect you and your mother. All of us. Your dad is a great man. He holds this group together. Even when he's not here, everyone looks to him for advice and leadership. And it's a terrible burden on him. Your dad what, does what he has to do no matter what, for the good of us all. Understand? I, I think so. Rick is focused, focused. This isn't going to turn out good for the guy on foot. Vroom! Got to add a sound effect in there. It's too quiet. Oh, crap! Ram! Whoop! Crazy. Dude, can't move. Crazy. Trying to, trying to kill me. Can't kill me. You are going to lead them right to us. You are going to betray us all. Put us in danger. My family in danger. You are going to betray us. You selfish piece of crap. You've got the room, the supplies for everyone in Woodbury, the whole town, everyone. Fencing off the streets, protecting the town, it doesn't work that well. Fighters, they always break through. We're constantly repairing the fences. The prison is secure. My people deserve to be safe too. After what was done to us, to me, to Michonne, you would lead them to us? You would lead them to us? You people are a poison, a plague worse than the dead. You stage fights. For people to die for your amusement. You're animals. The governor is what he is. He sent me, but I'm not bringing him here. The others, women, children, not bad. Good people. We'd be getting away from him too. They wouldn't hurt you. Your family would be fine. Fine? You trust these people? You're not getting it, Martinez. Don't you know what people are capable of? Urk. I'm starting, um, I think I'm getting the idea. Urk. 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 And 
And I think Martinez is no mas. He's gone. Pretty epic. Rick killed again. Thoughts and comments. Did he have to kill him? Could he capture him, talk some sense into him? Worried? Me? Not anymore. Not now. I think I worry more about being able to stand up in the morning without falling back on the bed at least. It's not that I care less about Rick. It's not that at all. It's just he always comes back. At this point, I'd be more surprised if he didn't return. I worry. I do. But I feel like it's more so I don't feel guilty about the fact that I'm not worried. It's gotten to the point where I just expect him to be fine, even after what happened to him the last time. Maybe that's just a defense mechanism, staying worried all the time, dwelling on the thoughts of carrying on raising Carl, and even this new baby without Rick was eating me alive. Maybe I had to stop worrying to survive. I don't... Am I making any sense? Making sense? I don't know. It all seems reasonable to me. But the world ain't exactly full of things that make sense anymore, now is it? When did it ever? Yeah, maybe we were just fooling ourselves until something happened that was big enough to make us stop and realize how crazy our world really is. Yeah. Ha! You're it! No fair! You're faster than me! I don't want to play anymore. I'm tired. You get me too quick. Sorry. What do you want to do then? We could play catch. That's a boy's game. Why don't we ever do girl stuff? Do you think your dad's hand will grow back? I mean, do you think it could? Grow back? No. That's impossible. No, it's not. My mom is reading me a biology book at night, and it talked about lizards growing their tails back. That's kind of the same thing, right? No. Some animals can do stuff we can't do, like birds. My dad can't fly either. You don't have to be so mean. I'm sorry. Are you still my girlfriend? Yes. Hey. Herschel. Sir. You got a second? I kind of need to talk to you about something. What is it, Glenn? Is everything okay? What's that in your hand? Dun, dun, dun. Come here, son. If you're asking for my approval, you've got it. Keep her happy. Keep her safe. That's all I ask. God bless you. Oh, and please don't get her pregnant. Not here. Not in this world. Not yet, at least. Not until things are safer. Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, of course not. Thanks, Herschel. So an hour ago, I'm thinking, the more of these things we drag out here, the lighter they seem to get. I mean, I was dragging them, but no problem. You follow me? Now it's like they're heavier. I'm dying here, man. I don't know if I can do this, do much after this. Some of them are heavier than others, just like people. We can call it a day after this one. It's getting late. We're almost out of daylight. That's a relief. You talk to that Michonne, the quiet one. How's she doing? I heard she got into some trouble while she was out. Yeah. I don't know the whole story. I don't know if I ever will. She's kind of keeping things to herself. I'd let her know. If she needs someone to talk to, I'd love to be that person for her. To be honest, I can't read that woman at all. So, you know, it's business as usual. I wish I hadn't screwed things up with Carol. Everything's so awkward with her and how hard she took it. What she tried to do. Uh, never mind. Well, that was quick. Did he wreck that thing? What's that on the front? That is uh, Martinez on the front. You're cleaning that off, right? The zombie juice? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Did you get him? Did you bring him back with you? Where is he? I didn't bring him back. Help me get the gates closed before dark. We'll clean out the rest of the bodies tomorrow. For now, we need to pack it in. I'm calling a meeting. I don't know. Can I think about it? Maggie? Huh? After all I went through to get this ring for you? Oh, are you kidding me? Of course I'll marry you. Gosh, I can't believe you couldn't tell I was kidding. I mean, it's not like there are any real other options for me. And... I totally love you, idiot. But seriously, going to a church isn't exactly an option. 
How are we going to do this? Do we just hold hands and walk around the table backwards or something? No, I was thinking of asking your father to handle it. He's the most spiritual one out of everyone here, as far as I know, so he's the closest thing to an actual priest that we've got. I think it'd be nice. He could read some things from the Bible, make it sound all official and stuff. Then we can officially spend whatever time we have left together as husband and wife. I love you. I love you too. Is he okay? He's asleep. He was obviously exhausted. As much as he protested, he fell right to sleep as soon as the head hit the pillow. Billy's going to watch the kids while we're at the meeting. Herschel's making him do it. He's just old enough to handle the responsibility and just young enough that he doesn't have to be at the meeting. Are you ready? No. Lori, I killed a man today. What? Martinez, man from Woodbury who'd helped us escape. He was working for them. He came here just to find where this place was. He disappeared earlier tonight. He was going to lead them to us. I stopped him. That's where I went in the RV. Killing him made me realize something. Made me notice how much I've changed. I used to be a trained police officer. My job was to uphold the law. Now I feel more like a lawless savage, an animal. I killed a man today and I don't even care. I did it for what I think were the right reasons. I haven't even thought about it past that. So now we're having uh, Rick reflecting. Change of character. You're right, though. He would have brought people here to harm us. Carl, me, the baby. You did do the right thing, and you shouldn't feel remorse. That's not even what I'm talking about. Killing Martinez? I didn't care. I don't. But it made me realize how detached I've become. I'd kill every single one of the people here if I thought it'd keep us safe. I know these people. I care for these people. But I know I'm capable of making that sacrifice. I find myself ranking them sometimes, looking at them and thinking, who do I like the most? Who do I need the most? Just in case something happened, I had to choose. I've seen so many die already. I have almost no attachment to these people at all anymore. And I could kill any one of them at any moment for the right reasons. That is pretty intense. That's a side of Rick that um, I don't know if I've seen that side of Rick before, especially the ranking and, and detaching himself from everybody. Martinez is one thing. But everybody in the group, you're talking about Glenn, you're talking about Tyrese, um, that's a little bit scary. Does that make me evil? I mean, isn't that evil? Uh, I don't know. And I think Lori looks concerned as well. Neither do I. And after that, we made our way here. We arrived to find the prison overrun and eventually fought our way to find everyone inside. Everyone but Otis. I was suspicious of Martinez, but on the way back from Woodbury, I came to trust him. Otherwise, I wouldn't have brought him here earlier today. He didn't have any trouble slipping away. He didn't make it back to Woodbury. They haven't been told our exact location, but they're still out there. And their close proximity to their town leads me to believe they will eventually find us. So this meeting is to, I guess, open up and also to tell them there's still a threat out there. So, what do you suggest we do? Do you expect us to move? No, not at all. I remember what went through to find this place. I have no intention of abandoning it. How close is this National Guard station you mentioned they were getting their weapons from? Couldn't we possibly raid that for supplies as well? I don't know. I never actually went there, but it was always mentioned as if it were close. That's really all I know. So they would gather and watch people fight to the death in some arena for entertainment? What kind of people do that? You said this governor person may be dead. How can you be so uncertain? What exactly did you do to him, Michonne? So we did get a little bit of the backstory. You can see by all the questions coming out, Rick told him exactly what happened. I, I don't know if he went into great detail with Michonne's abuse. Right now, all we need to be concerned with is the fact that they're out there. We need to worry about all the details later. They'll soon realize Martinez isn't coming back and is probably dead. And then they'll come after us. Could be weeks, could be months, but they'll eventually find us. We just need to make sure that when they do get here, we're ready for them. And that is the end. So it looks like we got some more drama brewing. Not an epic cliffhanger. I mean, Martinez is dead, but we do know at some point the governor is going to be back with a vengeance. I don't know if that's going to be the next issue or a couple issues down the line, 
Also, uh, leave your thoughts and comments about Glenn. And Lori is rapidly moving along in her pregnancy, so could be some drama that unfolds with that as well. Thanks, everyone, for watching. This is The Walking Dead Comics, issue number 36, a.k.a. Comics with Killshot. Talk to you all soon. Peace.